Okay, so this Rockets player is going to be in the gaps off of drop coverage right here, but you have to be in a defensive stance. You are not in a defensive stance. Your feet have to be set. If your feet take you inward like they are, you're never getting back outward. Kenyon Martin Jr., you cannot be staring at the ball. You've got to be seeing the ball in your man at all times. As your man cuts through, you've got to stay with him. Battle for real estate. Initiate contact. Look at Kenyon Martin Jr. Staring at the ball. So now his man cuts through, and that forces a late switch, which means you're going to be late to box out, and good night. Cannot jog back in transition. Sprint back. Look at Sangoon jogging back. If he had sprinted back, he's here. Now there's no place for Fred Van Vliet to go. Instead, you're here, and you've opened up a driving lane that should never be there. Okay, so this player is going to get beat on a pump fake, but this player is going to come over and guard the ball, and this player is going to come here. So this player is doing a fine job guarding the ball, and the dribble's picked up. So why is Sangoon coming to double then? Stay here so this player can stay here. But no. Just laziness, that's it. This Rockets player needs to be sprinting over to this Raptors player. Look at the laziness, the nonchalantness. Now it's rip and go right by you. I mean, if you're Eric Gordon, you're guarding the ball just fine here. Look at this. You're doing fine. You're guarding Siakam. Why the gamble right there? Why? If I'm running drop coverage right here, I want to angle this ball handler towards this part of the floor because there's no place to go. Now, Eric Gordon's going to be in the gaps right here. This big's got to drop underneath the ball this way, and I'm sending him here into traffic. There's no traffic on this part of the part of the floor. So look what happens. So now this player, instead of having to come right into where Eric Gordon is, there's just an empty space, and that's where he gets this mid-range jumper off. You have to send a double team. Siakam is too low on the floor right now. Bring this double. This player can start to cheat over here. If a skip pass gets made here, easy rotation, and then all that happens is this player would rotate here, and the man that doubles comes over to the weak side of the floor. I can't just let Siakam just destroy this player in the post. Get your hands off of Van Vliet. Dro you should be dropping anyways and rotating to the ball. But the fact that you have your hands on Van Vliet, look, now he's going to use that to create space off of you. See how that's, he just created space? See, right now he's on the other side of the screen and you're on the opposite side. So that little opening is all he needs to get into the lane, draw a double, and now there's no one to box out Achiua. The Rockets come to trap Achiua. Now, it's on the rotation out where Houston gets in trouble. Stop. Sangoon's got to go to the corner here. Really, this player should be going here, and this player should be going here. But it all starts with Sangoon going here. This player can't get over here. I mean, come on. Now you're late to get to the corner. You bite on a pump fake. It's terrible defense defending this down screen. If you're Eric Gordon, you chase off this player's hip. You never even attempt to go up the gut. Look at Eric Gordon here. See how he's attempting to go up the gut there? Well, now look at all this space that was just created because of that. So now Van Vliet's in the lane. Not play off Gary Trent. If you're having issues with guarding one-on-one, -on -one, then get up and force him right here into help with Eric Gordon. But you're, you're letting him go away from where your help would be, and you're playing off. That's 0 for 2. Not go under the screen. You can run drop coverage here. Again, th this Sangoon's got to set up underneath. This player's got to angle him to keep him this way because there's no place to go. There's nothing but Rockets players here to, uh, to help, right? There's no place to go. But instead, you go under and give up a practice three. Horrible transition defense. Sangoon is not getting to Pascal Siakam right here. So Eric Gordon's got to take the ball and say that, and Sangoon's got to know he's got to go wide. Why do we have two people going to the ball? More awful transition defense. Okay, so first of all, again, you cannot jog back. It doesn't matter. This is your man. You need to sprint to the three-point line. That's number one. So if you had sprinted to the three-point line, you'd be here. Sangoon then, instead of being all the way down here, could get up for Siakam here. There's no place to go. I can stunt, recover. But, you know, all of those things don't happen. If you are this Rockets player, you got to know where you're getting back to. Okay, so Sangoon is going here, so that and this player is going to the ball, so I need to sprint here. Look at this Rockets player. You're jogging and going to nowhere. On Eric Gordon right here, rotate to the ball. Okay, 
Pass is made. You never guard above the three-point line away from the ball. Get underneath the three-point line. There's no place for Trent to go. I can stunt, recover. There should This player should never have his dribble alive as he passes through you there. So Eric Gordon is giving up the baseline here. I mean, he's giving the baseline. So if that's the case and you're saying, Goon, you got to know that and you got to be able to, you got to beat Fred Van Vliet to this spot. And then this player rotates down onto your man and that's where it is from there. But I mean, you're giving up the baseline with nobody to meet you at the rim. <laughs> A total mismatch, hence the strong side ISO. Just bring this player over. A double team is needed Force this player right here. There's no place to go. Then we can rotate. This player would then rotate, rotate, rotate. All in unison on the first kickout pass. Or you can just let Eric Gordon get totally toasted. Cannot lean towards the screen. Look at this Rockets player. Look at him leaning towards the screen right there. You get beat the other way every time. Rockets player does a great job. You're forcing uh, this Raptors player to where he's supposed to go. But Eric Gordon's got to drop underneath the three-point line. There's got to be, you could just be able to stunt, no place to go. Easy recovery. You cannot guard above the three-point line away from the ball. So now that forces a, a double team that comes into the paint, and it's a wide-open three. Get up and guard Scotty Barnes. If, if I'm worried about defending him one-on-one, -on -one, I can just force him right here. There's no place to go. Like, what? why am I just giving up this? I mean, this Rockets player does a really nice job getting into the gap. So you got to know that you have gap help right here. Stop. So what I need to be doing now, I got to show my hands because I can't let Gary Trent come back to the middle of the floor. I just got to force him into this help where I can stunt, recover. But look at how you're guarding. You're allowing him to spin the other way away from that help. Um, this is a horrible switch. If you are switching, you need to be up and level to the screener so you're ready to guard. I mean, please. It's Gary Trent. Okay, so you get a switch here. Eric Gordon's guarding Pascal Siakam. You know this is a mismatch, okay? So this player's got to move in, in a defensive stance. Left foot parallel to the block. Right foot out wide stance. So when Siakam comes this way, look at this. So when Siakam comes this way, stop. See, if I'm where I'm supposed to be right now as he comes this way, I can stunt, get his dribble picked up early, and recover. But instead, you're nowhere to be found. So Siakam has all the room in the world to operate, which he should never have.